Hey guys, Tim Presley here with a, uh, another episode of Beyond the Balls. Today uh, I'm going to just do some rapid fire uh, ideas for you. Um, first is one of my favorites. Um, start off strong with this right here. This is a little um, tin metal box um, themed to uh, a Mario uh, point cube. You know, Mario runs along, he jumps up, punches the box, and coins fly out. Um, but also, sometimes, when he does, he hits it, a little mushroom will pop out. And if uh, Mario catches the mushroom, eats the mushroom, you know what happens? He gets bigger! Well, I found this, this is nothing but a candy tin. Um, if you look for creative packaging and candies, um, that could spark some uh, inspiration for a new Spongebob routine. I saw this little tin and I thought, okay, there's something to this. Um, we make a, a little mushroom and then you take uh, your, your sponge ball and uh, with your sponge ball, you know, he comes along, hits the tin, bing! You can have a, an audience member hold the tin or whatever when you do it and uh, you can edit an entire soundtrack. Take uh, the Mario uh, theme music um, and, you know, have that playing in the background as you do this routine. But uh, you take the mushroom and, you know, bop him on the head. And when you do, he grows. He gets bigger. Um, and it's just like the game. But that's an idea uh, for you. Um, I found a little ice cream cone uh, cup at the Dollar Tree. It actually had the, the, uh, the silly straw in it and the ice cr plastic ice cream on top. I cut the ice cream part off. And uh, so I could put a sponge on top. So you have a little ice cream uh, or if you want, you can have a growing bigger ice cream. Um, so there's an idea for you. Uh, just adding other props to your magic uh, gives it purpose and direction and helps uh, give it context for your audience uh, when you're performing. Uh, I like food. I like candy. So... Here's some Whoppers. Anything round um, really could be great for um, a sponge ball routine. Whoppers. Um, you know, you, you do a routine with uh, brown sponge balls. Where do you get brown sponge balls? Well, I make them. If uh, you want um, brown sponge balls, just contact me and uh, I will hook you up. Uh, this is actually not a round sponge ball. This is one of my sponge eggs. Uh, I manufacture uh, super soft sponge eggs. And uh, the brown ones uh, are great uh, for chocolate uh, Easter eggs. Or um, you can do seeds. You can call this a seed. And you can do a, a routine where, uh, you know, with the seeds and at the end you produce a, a flower. Or how about a watermelon? Uh, this is a sponge watermelon. Um, you can buy these at a lot of magic shops or, you know, Google it, Amazon, eBay. Um, you can, uh, find a sponge watermelon, but do a routine, uh, with watermelon seeds and have your finale be a watermelon. What's better than that? Um, maybe figure out a way, uh, to, uh, hide the seed inside this. Um, so when... You're holding this in your hand. You, you punch a, pun a bunch of seeds in there, and then, bam, there's the watermelon. Or, um, this actually has seeds painted on both sides. You could take and, uh, with your fingers, just kind of pick the paint off of one side. And then, um, you know, when you bring this out, they see all the seeds, have a bunch of uh, these seeds palmed in your hand, and then with a little flourish, you flip this thing around and toss these into the air. It looks like you just threw all of the seeds off of the watermelon. Uh, very visual, very big magic with your sponge magic. Um, just another crazy idea. Um, maybe it'll spark something else with you. Um, my friend Barry Mitchell um, uh, built this. Uh, I don't think he makes them anymore, but it's a production uh, box. Uh, you, you can take, show it empty, and then when uh, you put the cover on it, you can produce
a load. In this case, we have gumballs. Sorry, bad reflection there. Um, have a, a box full of gumballs. Now I've seen at the Dollar Tree and, and uh, other places little toy uh, gumball machines that are about uh, six to eight inches tall. Um, you could take one of those, uh, take the bottom off of it and use it like a chop cup uh, with sponge balls. Um, the top being filled with different colors, have them changing colors uh, coming out the front of the gumball machine. Um, and there's another idea. Like I said, any any food or anything that's round could potentially be a uh, sponge ball routine. So that's uh, another uh, idea for you. But this is another episode of Beyond the Balls. I hope you can take these ideas and, and run with them. Uh, maybe one of them will spark a, a different idea, a unique idea for you. And, uh, you know, you, you'll have your own personal routine. Anyway, my name's Tim, and this is uh, another episode of Beyond the Balls. Thanks for watching.